Welcome to day four, making heart-to-heart -heart connections. I want to start today with a question. When was the last time you thought about what really makes you feel good? Just thinking about walking the woods with my dogs or reading a really, really good book brings a smile to my spirit. What fills you up? What matters most to you? What brings you a feeling of unshakable peace? For me, I'm happiest when I'm teaching or learning, but I can do neither without giving my full attention to whatever or whomever needs the focus. That means listening with my whole body, all senses attuned to the moment. Meaningful things happen when you give someone your undivided, undistracted attention. As a rule in my home, we have no cell phones at the dinner table. With no distractions, everybody at our table is fully present for conversation and heart-to-heart -heart connection. Think about your own home and your own table. What can you do to limit the distractions? I once spoke to the author, Gretchen Rubin, who told me about a transformative moment she had while riding on a crowded city bus. It was raining, and when she looked out the window, she saw mom, just like her, holding her child's hand, while also holding a phone, an umbrella, and pushing a stroller. The woman was hurried and stressed. In that moment, Gretchen saw herself in that other woman, in a constant state of distraction and disconnection. That very day, she made the commitment to stop worrying about all that needed to be done. Instead, she made the conscious decision to focus on simple pleasures and cultivate a deeper connection with those she loves. That small shift created an ever-widening ripple effect throughout all of her relationships. And in these 21 days, we begin that shift within each of us. So let's listen to Deepak guide us on how to make heart-to-heart -heart connections and then we'll meditate together. We've been building up a vision of ideal relationships that put us on the inward path, experiencing the love and peace of the true self. But what we gain inside must be brought outside too, where relating to others occurs. We often feel fairly disconnected from other people. And even when there is a heart-to-heart -heart connection with a special someone or several special someones, keeping the connection alive is challenging. It is not possible to analyze all the obstacles that break our connections with other people or even with ourselves. But all these problems arise from a lack of self-awareness just as the problems of stumbling around in a dark room come from a lack of light. Our problem-solving focus has to be on bringing in the light, not trying to conquer the darkness. Light can mean many things to many people, but whether you think of the light of reason, the light of love, or the divine light, the common denominator is awareness. To be in the light, to gain the gift of the light, you must be consciously aware that it is happening. Bringing the light either to yourself or to others begins with the intention to allow the light in. You take an attitude of openness, saying inside, here I am. It doesn't matter who you address the words to. It can be God, the higher self, your soul or spirit. It's the willingness to let your consciousness expand that counts. Even a single moment where light enters is a chance for your true self to come to the surface of your life. 
The second step is to recognize when such an experience is occurring. As awareness expands, old familiar external situations change from the inside. Because life contains almost infinite experiences, it is not possible to lay down a single pattern that applies to everyone. But in terms of relationship, the experience of light is actually something all of us have felt at one time or another. Closeness, warmth, security, peace, loving kindness, a sense of being cherished, and certain knowledge that we belong. So we can say that to create a heart-to-heart -heart connection is really about experiencing the light toward another person. It's being in the light together. Then heart speaks to heart without effort or fear or distance. We simply radiate outwards what we actually are inside. A true self that is no longer closed off, insecure, and conflicted. The light of awareness makes it all possible. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. I make two connections when my heart touches another heart. I make two connections when my heart touches another heart. Now, let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra, Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti. This mantra invokes the light of pure consciousness to heal every aspect of your life. This light heals and transforms fear, pain, and the sense of separation. Repeat it silently to yourself. Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti. With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open and receive just a little more. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti. Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time and when it's time to end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti. Arut Param Jyoti.
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I make true connections when my heart touches another heart. I make true connections when my heart touches another heart. Namaste.